What if you had something worth holding on to? Something you spent years saving to buy. A place for your family. A place you call home. And then something came along and took it all away. What would you do? We know just how much your home means to you, which is why we're here to help you in the aftermath of life's storms and make it like it was before. Sunshine Insurance, here to protect, here to make it right. Happy Fools, Happy Fools, two for two, two for two. Happy Fools, two for two, food galore just for you. Happy Fools, two for two, food galore just for you. This ain't no talking show, it's an eating show. Sasha Laurel is the host of Happy Fools, two for two, food galore just for you. Happy Fools, two for two, food galore just for you. Happy Foods, two for two, food galore just for you. Hey everyone, it's your girl Sasha Laurel and welcome to another exciting episode of Happy Foods, two for two. We are at dinner on Blanc in the heart of downtown Nassau in Pompey Square. This is the season finale. Shout out to all of you who've watched season 10. Now we're gonna talk to Pop and find out just exactly what went into making this event. All right, so we here with Pop. Pop is like an in event entertainer extraordinaire. Pop, what all went into this event? Uh, sweat, blood, <laughs> tears. I'm still crying right now. Um, it is a very complex event. So there was a lot of sleepless nights. There were a lot of early mornings, um, but you know, it was all worth having this come into fruition. I mean, just people passing in the square when we were setting up, it's just like, oh my gosh, what is going on? Mm -hmm. So it is worth all of sweat, blood, and, and tears, actually. Why bring it to the Bahamas? I know this event is on an international scale. I actually attended when I went in school and was in school in London. Why bring it to the Bahamas? Oddly enough, it's not something that I seek. It, it actually came to me. Mm -hmm. And so when um, I was approached by the Dinner on Blanc rep international in Canada, um, I hadn't attended, mm -hmm. but I did see a lot about the event in the past because, you know, I've traveled quite a bit, mm -hmm. lived in the States for a long time, and I, when she approached me, I, there was no, not even a second of doubt in my mind that told me, okay, maybe I didn't need to. Like, I knew this was something that needed to come to Nassau now, and I knew it was something that I could take on, essentially, because she was, she um, said that, you know, she spoke to a couple people here in Nassau, and then all fingers pointed to me. So mm -hmm. when they asked, I jumped on it. All right. Now, this is a pre-recorded show, guys. So if you missed it in December, you got to catch up at some other event. Final question for you. Well, final two questions. Um, if someone wants to reach you to plan an event, just give us a little bit of information about how they can reach you. Okay, so I am the same thing on all platforms. So it's Pupstar Entertainment on Facebook. Pupstar ENT on Instagram. It's uh, Pupstar Entertainment is the website. Uh, our email is Pupstar Entertainment. So it's just, once you know the company name, you can find us on all, all platforms. And then our number, maybe? Yeah. Um, direct line 376-8484. And email is pupstarent at gmail.com or info at pupstarentertainment.com. All right, guys. This is a... Not a talking show, it's an eating show. Stay tuned, you're still watching Happy Foods 2 for Happy Foods 2 for 2 is brought to you by Sunshine Insurance, Coca Cola, 100 Jam, Hot 91.7, Ronzoni, Milo Vallo, Bahamian Rental, and Flying Dutchman.
All right, guys, you're still watching Happy Foods 2, 4, 2, and we're here with Celeste, and Celeste Hello. is attending Dinner en Blanc. And Celeste, yeah. just tell us why you decided to support PUP and this particular event. Well, I mean, it's a fantastic event. It's done internationally all over the world, um, from Paris to, you know, South America. Mm -hmm. And it's something that just brings everybody together. It's a new event, um, the first time we're having it here in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. um, and just something different, something special. You know, you bring your own food or you have it catered. Mm -hmm. um, and a good way to spend a Saturday night. Okay, did you guys, in terms of the people who came with you, did you guys bring your food or? So we brought our own food, okay. um, but there's also some great caterers that you were able to purchase food from as well. Um, okay. So supporting also local caterers as well, which was important, I think, to Puppy, um, to Patrice, uh -huh. um, in, in doing this event. And we also have guests who flew in from Atlanta. Really? And yeah, definitely, because oh, wow, okay. it's something that people do all over the world. Right, so right. people will literally jump from event to event yeah, right. to come and explore different parts of the world. All right, yeah. so y'all heard it from Celeste. We're gonna interview some more people, guys. We're gonna have food and drinks. Stay tuned to Happy Foods, two, four. So if you don't know this guy, you've been stuck on the, a rock. He's Bahamian designer David Roll, and David Roll is here with us at Dinan Blanc. David, tell us a little bit about why you decided to come to this event. Well, it's a kick off to the holiday season, and it's something for us to do. Uh, me and my friends, we decided that we just join. We love food, we love to party, we love wine, and <laughs> why not? <laughs> so you guys bought your own food, or are you going to be interested to see what the caterer has? No, we had our, one of our... The chef that we normally use, Chef mm -hmm. Jason, we mm -hmm. had him prepare our meal tonight. Alrighty, yeah. so thank you so much guys. Listen, it's gonna be a great time. This is a pre-recorded show, so if you missed it, you missed a really good time. Shout out to some of our sponsors, Sunshine Insurance, 100 Jams, Bahamian Rentals. So we got another attendee, another participant, registrant, Miss Bahamas Universe, former Miss Bahamas Universe, Yasmin Cook. She's here attending the event with us. And just tell us why you decided to attend Dinner on Blanc, Yasmin. So the concept of Dinner on Blanc was something that really intrigued me. I've traveled to Paris before, and when I heard about this event, I thought, why not bring something of culture to the Bahamas? So I'm looking forward to the experience. Did you come with a group or you came by yourself or? Yes, I'm actually here with a group of friends. Okay. We always have a good time together, so I'm excited. You guys cooked your food or you're waiting on the caterer? We actually potluck, so everybody oh, wow. contributed. Yes. So tell me a little bit something, because you know they say beauty queens don't really eat. Do you like food? Oh, absolutely. Whoever told them that, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I'm missing for So just give me some, what is some of like, your favorite things to eat? Wow, that's really hard to narrow down, but if I had to pick, I would say anything that's made of chocolate. Anything made of <laughs> chocolate, guys. You heard it first, it's Yasmin. We're still here at Dinner on Blanc. Happy foods, two, four. And Chef, just tell us the inspiration behind your creation. Because this is a lot of stuff here. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, what I what I do, I think, um, when it comes to food, I try to exceed whatever the expectation is, mm -hmm. and I think that's kind of what we did. But um, but the inspiration was just pulling from some of the influences around us. The um, um, well, for, for this particular platter, because I did two of them. Uh, one was basically a um, one was a Portuguese inspired uh, seafood gumbo, mm -hmm. and you had a bunch of stuff in there. You had the lionfish, the conch, you had some mussels, uh, some clams, lobster, <laughs> and so salty. Can you stop? Oh yeah. Let's go to this one because I'm not getting any of that. Oh yeah. Uh, that was that was the that was the hot fella, you know. 
But but this one here, this this is kind of like my version of a barbecue. It's a I call it a barbecue experiment. And what I did, I made some russet potatoes. I roasted them with a little bit of uh, bacon fat. I had two types of bread. I had a, a Parmesan, almost like a Parmesan flatbread, French bread. Mm -hmm. uh, then I had a sweet roll as well. You had some roasted corn. You have uh, your, it's kind of like a tamarind jerk barbecue. Like if those different flavors and cultures got married and they had a baby, mm. um, their ribs would look like that. So it has a, a bit of all of those influences in, in the taste and the flavors of the rib. Um, and then, of course, I bring it back a little Caribbean where we had the, uh, the guava, not guava, it's coconut and sugar banana fritters. And I made some guava duff sauce to go with it. Yeah. So that at least you will have something nice and sweet to, to mellow you out after you had all of those other bold, strong flavors. I hope you have one of these in the back there for Jake, because I think in this one. Ah, that's not like that could be a long ride. So, um, mm -hmm. just tell me a little bit about how you, why, why did you decide to participate? In um, Dinan Blanc? In, yeah. Well, I, I, I decided to participate. Well, actually, actually um, the, this was something that I, that I followed. I knew about this event like how it happened around the world mm -hmm. and for me it's it's always fun to be able to uh to be a part of something where i could uh express a bit of what the bahamas looks and tastes like on a spoon mm -hmm. to these different uh international events you see so this was like i said this was this was a a fun experience when they approached me and they talked talk spoke to me about it uh, i didn't hesitate for a second because you know, I know that um, that it's important really to expose not only the the sun, sand, sea scenery and everything, what mm -hmm. people get to expect from the Bahamas, but it's also important for them to be able to know what the Bahamas tastes like, you see? And sometimes when we infuse it subtly into a lot of international uh, events and cuisine and dishes, then we, we give them a different side of, you know, the islands. And this has been, like, this is all really good. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to like really eat it. Like really, really. Because I'm dressed up. I don't want to really. <laughs> well, get interesting with. enough, because but what I did, you know, considering that it was a dinner on blanc, mm -hmm. that's why I gave them like little aprons, little oh, plastic aprons, right. so that they could, you know, protect all of their sexy white, white stuff. Yeah, because there's a lot of white. Right. Then you have the little um, oh, wet, wet naps, right. so you don't get and that stuff all over your fingers. Little... Yeah, yeah. That's like a this momentum. Is interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes. You added this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah, so, that, so that, you know, after you finish eating all your food, you still get to take a piece of me home with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you think this would be, I mean, I know that they're doing, we've already spoke to Grizel, mm -hmm. who showed us all the different wines. This would pair perfectly with some of the wines. Oh, hell have. yeah. One of, well, that's one of the things that, um, that I w kind of looked for when, um, when I was putting the menu together, mm -hmm. uh, when I looked at the wine and the wine choices. I figured, okay, well, the um, the gumbo would pair very well with the um, um, with, with with some of the, the like the white wine that mm -hmm. they had, mm -hmm. and ev and even some of the reds that they had, because generally what people do now they eat what they like, yeah. you know. But I think even like with the with those people who who like the moscato and everything like that, mm -hmm. all of those flavors they basically balance each other out, because sometimes food could change the taste of wine, and uh, just as well as wine, taste the yeah, taste right. The food. So when the when the marriage is, is perfect. Mm -hmm. So when you have like something acidic or lemony, or uh, and you and you pair that with a white wine and make it taste much sweeter. Mm -hmm. So when you take something that's sweeter and you pair it with with something like how we have the tamarind uh, yeah, jerk really on the thing. It's that's, like that's, sweet and savory to uh -huh. me. Right. And, yeah. Well, that that's how that's how addiction starts. When you, when you meld the two together, mm -hmm. because it, it triggers something off in your mind to make you continually crave the next bite. Even if the spice hits you, even if the, um, um, the, the, the sweetness and all that flavor um, makes you more hungry, it kind of manipulates the taste buds a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. But that's what I like to do. 
I understand exactly what Jamal is saying. And Jamal is committed to coming on this show maybe on his own, hopefully. Ooh. This is our 10th season. Mm -hmm. So Jamal, I don't know where you've been, maybe under a rock or working really, really hard. But he's going to be on this show yeah, play at some food. point. All right, guys, Jamal, this is awesome. It's been wonderful. Listen, if you missed an on Blanc, because this is a pre-recorded show, make sure, I don't know if Papa has plans to like keep it around the same time, but this is the first Saturday in December. Make sure, I don't know, Google the website, Google Pop Star Entertainment, events and entertainment. Make sure you're a part of the station. You're watching Happy Food Week 2. Happy Foods 242 is brought to you by Sunshine Insurance, Coca-Cola, 100 Jam, Hot 91.7, Ranzoni, Milo Vallo, Bahamia Rental, and Flying Dutchman. Educational Services is a full-service tutoring center offering one-on-one -on -one sessions and small group classes for most standard subjects and grade levels. Are you one of the many parents who becomes frustrated with the daily homework struggle? With so many curriculum changes over the years, you may find that you're not even sure how to help them. Our team of tutors is here to help. We work with students in kindergarten all the way up to college level. We'll guide your child through their academic work so that you have more quality time to spend with them. During our sessions, tutors develop a strong rapport with the child so that he or she feels comfortable tackling problems without fear of making mistakes. We really focus on developing a growth mindset so that children persevere through even the most challenging assignments. You never know what kind of great programs we have on at Boost, so please stay current by checking out our website at BoostBahamas.com and sign up for our mailing list. All right, that does it for this episode of Happy Foods 242 with Dinner on Blanc. Shout out to Pop Cheese doing amazing things. Also got to shout out some of my sponsors, Coca-Cola, Milo Butler, and Hot 91. Thank you for coming through this season. I am so, so happy that we did it. Guys, my team, my team, Kenny, Y, Shakara, Abe, you guys are the best. And guess what, guys? This has been another season. This is the season finale. This is it. It's over. We're done. Will there be another season? Maybe you just watched another exciting season of Happy Food. Two, four, 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 two, four